Hey, this is Mark, and I am trying to make a quick and dirty YouTube video of one of Scobalizer's lists. This is his Rackspace list, so it's not 500 people. So we won't push on our uh, Twitter API streaming limits. We can only grab so many per day, and we have to get on there whitelisted due to whatever. Um, anyway, this is a different way of looking at um, information. And uh, the status updates from all the people in Rackspace on Twitter go through a semantic processing tool. Uh, right now we have them going through the Orchestrate Alchemy API. And, you know, we kind of glom all together into one cumulus cloud. And then if you want, you could say, if you see something you like and you want to dig a little deeper, you'd say, hey, you know, let's, uh, let's find out um, how Salesforce copied Facebook. And that did not work. Hold on. I mean, I, I have some limited uh, web browsing right now. Uh, come on. Maybe that web page isn't going to come up. No, it should have. There it is. It's right there. And you click on it. And it goes to a search page. I don't know if you can read these things, but uh, the, the terminology that's been semantically extracted is put into a Twitter search right now. We're probably going to build our own search using the Twitter API. Um, and you can see who's talking about it. Um, the rush to socialize enterprise continues with Blogtronics when Salesforce copied Facebook. So that was actually a uh, global blog. A tweet from there. Um, he's part of Rackspace, I guess, and he uh, he kicked off the term. Uh, I guess we can go further back. It goes down to uh, Andre Iampop, who started the comment, and it sort of moved through. And if I go back, I can see somebody on this list. Skull blog. There it is. That was the uh, that was the progenitor of that particular piece of information. And so it's a fast way to look at a, a lot of information at once, and you can drill down on stuff you want to. It's uh, it's really hard to read what everybody's talking about the full tweets all the time. I know 140 characters isn't that much, but you know when you follow hundreds of people and put them on lists or thousands of people, you need to uh, compress the information down somehow. And this is just one way to do it. And we think that this is. Uh, kind of a valuable way to start looking at data and then each of these things can you know lead to uh, a different type of filtering where you have multiple people talking about the same thing at the same time those words will get bigger here uh, it's, it's just built in natively the way we have it set up thanks to Tyler Gillies hard work and awesome skills all right man thanks for listening bye